it's very exciting to work on digitalization in a world of physical products and manufacturing. Because this is so important to us, we have initiated the AIoT user group that's specifically looking at the combination of artificial intelligence with the IoT and how we can create value using technologies like digital twins. In this context, it's an honor to work with a great company like ANSYS. We have, together with our colleagues from Bosch Automotive Electronics, created a great case study on hybrid digital twins. And my colleague, Cemek Romala, is going to tell you all about it. My name is Przemysław Gromala. I'm working at Robert Bosch GmbH in Reutlingen, Automotive Electronics Division, and I'm responsible for thermal mechanical simulations and methodology development of electronic devices and systems. So the business case that we are working currently on is trying to implement the digital twin in order to understand better how different parameters, for instance, tolerances, which happens during the production, influence the system performance later on in the field as well as in the next steps we would like to implement those digital twins uh, in the system in the car so that we can actually monitor the lifetime of the device to the entire lifetime of the product and this in this case digital twin might be a enabler for, for predictive maintenance for electronic control units automotive electronics plays a very significant significant role in the innovation currently Automotive is driven by four major trends, connectivity, electrification, new sharing services, as well as uh, automation. All these trends bring, bring us the new challenges which we would like you know, to solve. One of the possibilities is to implement a new maintenance strategy, predictive maintenance. However, for this we need a digital twin. So they are following challenges which we would like to overcome in cooperation with our partners in respect now to have those digital twins in the car. One of them is connected to the nonlinear behaviors of our systems. And here we believe that artificial intelligence and machine learning, uh, which are currently available, will help us you know, to have them introduced. Second thing is connected to the computational efforts which is required. Here we need to work on the digital twins which are compact that can be also implemented not only on the workstation, but also directly in the car on the microcontroller. And the third one is connected to the exchange of those twins. That means in case we have some updates so that they can be easily exchangeable. I mean, the ANSYS technology help us to create you know, compact digital models which might be, which are implemented on the electronic devices. And here we are happy you know, to cooperate with ANSYS in respect to applying those models based on artificial intelligence and machine learning technology. Our customers uh, will benefit uh, from the digital twin through the availability of the systems. I mean, having a digital twin in the car, we will be able to provide the state of health of our electronic devices and electronic control units, and as the final results also of the car. Thank you for, uh, for the excellent collaboration between Bosch and ANSYS. We are we are also strongly partnered uh, with you on, on the AIoT. We have started collaboration with the Digital Twin Consortium that I serve on the steering committee of. On hybrid digital twins, the idea was to take combined physics-based simulation with data analytics-based solutions and combining it into hybrid digital twins uh, for with applications to a range of solutions at Bosch in terms of electrification solutions. 